Our universe contains infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page turn. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting and a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? The race begins. A new world, a new history, untold possibilities. There is so much to see, to do, to learn, or depending on one's preferences, to destroy. What is up guys? RTG here. Back. Um after an impromptu uh time off with some more humankind. And as you saw, that was the introduction. Which means we are starting this this playthrough from the beginning. Um Basically, my computer exploded. Well, not exploded. Um, files got corrupted. Save data lost. So we are basically back to square one on a lot of things. So, <clears throat> I made a community post earlier today to let you guys know what's up. So, you can refer to that. And just know, we are keeping a lot of the things the same. Um, we are against the same people. We have the same end goal. End goal, sorry. And uh, I changed map settings. But this mountain range seems awfully familiar. And there was more science next to us. Even so, those who have disappeared may have done something very clever. So, I hope you guys can forgive me. Also took a good amount of time trying to get a lot of um, settings back up in auto. So, forgive me if the game is a bit loud or uh forgive me if the game is a bit loud sound settings are a bit off i just wanted to get stuff i wanted to start producing stuff again for you guys as soon as possible also as a i can't say bonus but because I've been gone so long, I am... Um, we have horses. This... Yep. Is this feels very familiar, but there is a lot less hills and desert area. So it's not the exact same. But there is some tea. Need to claim that before Spiff gets to it. But yep, I'm, as I was saying, I am going to be doing a video a day 
same t- same time for the next two weeks to help catch up to where we were the stories in the stars on cloudless nights after the fires have dimmed to embers many of the tribe raise their eyes to the heavens mesmerized by the vast ocean of stars some have noticed reoccurring patterns among the brightest stars and these shapes they imagine form the heroes and beasts stories of their adventures their victories and their defeats are flourishing myths can be born here you realize ones that have the power to shape the tribe what themes will you encourage we don't want violence because i don't think combat strength is going to be necessary for in the next 20 turns we could get food uh 20 food is not enough to grow us uh influence though could be useful because that that won't grow us directly but it will we can set an outpost with with that so i think that makes a lot of sense here why do we get why are we getting influence from settling here is it just because it's an early outpost okay so 20 food 7 production i think we are still going to be going we are going to aim for getting the egyptians because they have forces so this production is going to be worth more in a bit But full bellies and healthy children. I see where this is going. Okay, we also have copper. That's good to know. Acknowledge. Uh, where should we look? Uh, let's finish exploring this territory. We may want to move our darn it hmm. <clears throat> seed of an idea yesterday the tribe came across a vast tract of wild grain stalks swaying the breeze like the wind playing over golden waters the ground down grain could feed the tribe twice over but one of the tribe elders had another idea. Instead of pounding the seeds into flour, she suggests planting half of them so the grasses may return next summer. It is a curious idea that odd um it is a curious idea at odds with the nomadic life. But perhaps a harbinger of the future. What will you do? We could potentially get a discount on domestication or horses or we can get plus two food on city or outpost while we are nomadic um we will be nomadic for a while uh two food is this going to well it's two food forever so well two food while we're nomadic and i think that is that may be better than some research. Okay. This this curiosity may be enough to get us our second set of people. Ew. We are surrounded by elephants. We have 
vision of a lot but not all of our territory oh oh this, it's a new territory I'm about to say this is a lot bigger than i was expecting it to be okay you tribesmen you guys head grab this i'm going to take these guys down south these other guys up north and then we we circle back and see if we can take down a couple of elephants a first outpost means a first step into a new territory and a new extension of your empire's power but also a new vulnerability A world of flame. In the distance, a thin cloud of smoke cuts up into the into the clear blue skies. Fire. Calling a few tribesmen, you run closer. The smell of cindered bark and burning pine growing stronger with each footfall. You spy dancing flames and suddenly find yourselves on the edge of a settlement on fire. Many of the structures are ablaze, but even with the smoke, the flames... You, oh, even with the smoke and flame, you can see these abodes are marvelous of craftsmanship. You are about to direct your men to put out the flyers with the loose soil. Then you see shadows, short shadowed figures running away. Utes. They could be part of your tribe if you chase, if you give chase right now. But that would mean losing the street, the secrets of construction. What is your choice? Um... Uh, we're playing on endless speed, so slower speeds usually mean like these percentage increase save a lot of time. But I'm wondering if we should just get, we could do a decent amount of growing because there are a bunch of elephants around. Killing elephants gives a good amount of food in the Neolithic era. But I think more people, more better. You guys grab that and I'll have you guys merge up and start heading for elephants then. You, since you aren't exactly needed, can start doing other things like picking up these those curiosities. Um, we have one, two, three, four, four population. We could get five. <clears throat> An outstretched hand. The tribe has built a fine outpost and it has, it is proud. Ah, the tribe has built a fine outpost and its proud structures, blazing campfires and buzz of activity have drawn the notice of others who roam these lands. Though such wanderers pass by the settlement, none had approached you directly until today. When a small group of, stra of strangers arrived at Stunup, they came bearing an unexpected request to create bonds of peace with the tribe, becoming as brothers and sisters to your people. What answer will you give to the offer? Can get a whole new pop can get science um we need we want 20 science because 20 science means we can get our neolithic um i don't remember the term the the, the thing thing that you get because you're a thing yeah legacy trait we would need the, we would need 20 science to con to unlock the Neolithic legacy trait. And I do, but I think it's only the first three people. Ooh, this is a lot of science up here. Okay, with this lot of science, each of them is going to give us at least one. So I think we should be good not picking up 
we should be good not talking and just getting a new pop so we have five pop needed we have five pop of the ten needed to advance we could fight an elephant or two and that i think one elephant is 20 food um manual battle and deployment flank the elephant flanking them gives us the it basically makes us even combat strength wise and that is the that is the best way to tackle a situation like this so instead of losing a pop we lose none and uh, yeah 20 food 20 influence so that means we can settle another territory um those up there look pretty good but they <clears throat> ideally you want something that adds up to around 20 maybe something high in production so they settle faster this is 13 19 20 so this is a good spot to settle these will take forever how about do you have any okay all these places look less than ideal so since you need to heal here is as good a place we will get a next pop here in 10 turns could spend some pop to get a tribesman this is a increase of seven production um keep forgetting it's an increase of seven industry and a decrease of six food we did get extra food from the narrative event so i think we should at least keep we should at least continue gaining food that is what in my opinion our best our best bet why do these mammoths look different oh because there's a sanctuary down here hmm These guys closer. We fight the mammoths here. What's over there? And then we may be able to get another spot down. Attack with our healthiest unit first. Stay defensive. closer than I was hoping but we are up to six pop and this would hopefully get its own in a bit hmm. lost souls part one 
Your scouts come to you, breathless from exertion. Between gasps, he tells you that he spied another tribe not far ahead. He leads you on, and after a shot, after a stop signal, you drop to your bellies and crawl forward in the bush. Ahead, a young woman, no more than 13 summers, is leading a ceremony. Her audience, a double or so equally young or younger tribesmen. Many are crying, and when you see the bodies laid out, you understand they are mourning. You know what you must do. We welcome them. And welcoming, welcoming them, more population. So we are up to seven. We can potentially hit ten rather quickly. And we are rather we are also pretty close to the needed science. Okay, so you guys are heading this way to heal up and collect food from the sanctuary. You guys. Um I want another territory and uh, uh, we have no immediate territories with luxuries this way well this might be the capital uh, this I am less inclined to make the capital plus this has couple so it is the better choice Okay, someone has advanced already, but they are not Egyptian. That is the best news we can get. Ooh, okay, we're going to need 120 to get further. But that's not happening anytime soon. But we can do some scouting. Maybe with some elephant kills, we might get something good. Ed. You separate. That way, and this way. So 25, we have 30 food amongst these. There was something down there. This elephant settled, well, stopped. Mm -hmm. This elephant stopped on the food. You know what? Can we? Right. For the tribe. Okay, we can't flank, but we have high defensive ground. Just like that, we well, we get more population next turn. But that way, oh, I did, I did spot more food. Okay, can we get? Okay, knowledge star achieved. You guys set this on fire. The tribe's legacy. You stand at a crossroads. For many moons, the tribe has trekked the wilderness, slowly, treacherously learning secrets of this world. So slowly and torturously, sorry. How the materials hidden in the deep places and in plain sight might be flourished to the tribe's advantage. How the beans and plants of the land and seas can be most fruitfully harvested. And how the myths and stories glacially but inescapably give power over our greatest enemy. Our 
other tribes. You now must decide in who, in what domain, the tribe will truly sharpen its knowledge. The age is to come. Will you be renowned as makers, farmers, or charmer? And we are going to be makers of war and chaos. Um, remind me later. I don't think anyone else has moved on. Oh, I stand corrected. A bunch of people have moved on. Joe, Phoenicians, Nubians, Harappans, and the... Um... Carlins. Thankfully, no one has taken what we what we are looking at, which are the Egyptians. You know this game has gone far because Egyptians used to be the first. Well, the Egyptians and the Harappans used to be the first civilizations to be claimed. Basically, every game. Um, we are pretty close to the coast. Without enough influence to do anything about it. Okay, we have this guy is promoted. So it's not. It's decent enough to wander on its own for, for a while. More pop here. More signs there. We are up to eight, which means. Oh, I thought. Oh no, we just claimed someone. Right. 15, 25. Okay. Merge these two together. We are up to nine. Hmm. Violent pursuits. In the winter. Oh, sorry. The last winter was especially harsh. The ground hard and the frost chilling to the bone. In the heart of the settlement, the tribe handled one... No, sorry. <sighs> In the heart of the settlement, the tribe huddled close to shared warmth, though through the colder days. Um, but for some, it wasn't enough. Some needed to get their blood flowing, and they found a means through violent games, grappling, fighting contests of strength and endurance. One contest, oh, one contest where opponents fought with hide-bound fists, has gained quite the following to the point that the outpost's usual um, foraging missions were under threat. What is your say on this new pursuit? Hmm. On nomadic tribes, you get 20 experience when creating units, but we lose two food. We get bountiful, which is extra food per turn, but I think we can get codify, which is domestic domestication research production, which I think will do us pretty good. Now, we just need to find... some more mammoths to beat. we can be well if we can get uh one more mammoth defeated we'll be able to i'll be very confident in advancing we just need to find one Okay, that was Nubians and Joe. This way. Science isn't really doing anything, but the little... Okay. 
Don't have to find a mammoth. We have taken the lead in terms of fame. We hopefully have not lost our pick. Oh. Uh, there would be the Hittites, but... Hmm. Hittites are technically a choice, but... We are going to go with the Egyptians. So I guess everyone take their move. We get some people back to the capital. You can join the river. And then we move. <laughs> <laughs> 